Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Ebbie. Hi everyone, welcome back to my space. Compliments of the season. Hope you are all enjoying your Christmas period. So today we are going to be making pepper chicken. This pepper chicken you can have it with your rice or you can just have it as a snack or just a whole meat maybe on a weight loss journey. You can just use it but don't add the fries to you, okay? I want to put you through on how I make it. So this chicken has been marinating in my fridge emphasis on fridge for over two hours okay in another video i'm going to show you how i marinate my chicken so i'll just place it in a pressure pot because it's the hard chicken that is the hen so i'll put in my pressure pot to cook Now allow it to simmer on its own juice. Please don't cover immediately because you don't want to add water on it. So allow it to simmer on its own juice. All this juice you are looking at now came out from the meat before you cover. Now I added onions to it. Now to marinate it, I used dry onions. I also have a detailed video on how I produce my own dry onions at home. Do do well to check it out. Thank you. Now at this point, I added rosemarino. Fresh one, stir and continue to cook. I'll cook this meat until it's all pale, okay? Before I'll cover it. Now at this point, I added water, but just a little water because this is a pressure pot. It doesn't need much water to cook. Now I covered my pot and cooked. It cooked for about 10 to 15 minutes. I removed it and now I place it in my air fryer. You can go ahead and fry this in an oil, but I prefer to use my air fryer for a healthier one. Okay, so it's optional. You can fry or you can use your air fryer, whichever one. Now these are the peppers I'll be using. I have my red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, scotch bonnet pepper and onions. So I'm going to go ahead to rough blend it all. So to get the consistency I want, I will be using my food processor. If you use a blender, you have to be careful and check it always. So this food processor, processor does not require water or oil to blend. It just does the work. So that's why I prefer it. Pour the blended pepper mix in a plate. Now, in a clean pan, I added coconut oil. Now the oil here is optional. I prefer to use coconut oil, just add a little bit of flavor to the pepper mix. 
so you can use any vegetable oil of your choice except red oil okay now continue frying i'm using a non-sticky pan here so like so i'm frying in a high heat Now my chicken is done, it is time to add it into the sauce. Now you can choose to fry your chicken to be this dry or you can just touch it a little bit. I prefer mine to be like this because it's going to store in the fridge and I'll use it to eat rice, okay? If you want to loosen this a little bit, you can also add the meat stock in there. Those who loosen it, you can now use it as a stew for your rice, anyhow you want it. The most important thing is that to serve this alone it is preferable to take it this way okay so i just stay to combine i'm not adding any liquid to it because i don't like having liquid in my pepper in my pepper chicken i just add for salt Continue frying it together because I do not add water. Continue frying it with that stew. Five to ten minutes. It is done. Now I served sprinkled parsley on it and it tasted so yummy thank you so much for watching until i see you in my next one bye do well to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you